Hey everyone, welcome to A Fistful of Dice. Um, I hope you can hear me, I've got the dishwasher going in the background, but um, I just want to do a quick update video for my Hearst Arts project. Um, I wasn't going to do a video of this stage, but I figured it might be worthwhile to see um, the primed pieces uh, with the uh, black on them. Uh, I spent a good few hours today painting and actually got um, all of my floor pieces here, all 36 of them painted, plus um, the littler ones have been painted too. As you can see, the little 1x2s have also been painted. And I started on some of the other features, such as um, these stairs, and some of the rubble piles, the thrones, um, a couple of walls. And actually, I don't know if you can tell because it's so dark, but this here is like a is like a forge or a fireplace. And I actually got that idea from uh, Dungeon Master Johnny. He posted that on his Facebook. He made one with uh, some of the field stone walls and some floors. I did the same with the uh, with the basic block mold. So it's kind of cool. I uh, I opted for more of a forgy look rather than a fire fireplace. Um, so I, I just thought that ended up looking kind of cool, and with the accessories mold, you can actually put some fire in there, so that'll look pretty neat. And then here's some of the rubble pieces. So um, what I'm priming these with is just uh, it's just cheap, you know, acrylic paint. It's Apple Barrel. It's like you know, 97 cents a bottle or whatever. Uh, and um, <clears throat> you know that this plaster is super porous, and it just drinks the paint right up. I mean, that's one coat of black, and obviously there's a few you know, areas that I missed or whatever, but um, this is white plaster, uh, and it just drinks that paint right up, uh, so you don't need to do multiple multiple coats. Obviously, you need to do a touch-up, you know, pass on all of these, but um, it's really not too bad, so I'm going to let these dry overnight. They're pretty dry right now, but uh, acrylic has a tendency to peel away if you don't let it dry completely, so I'm not going to do touch-ups tonight. Um, and then some other pieces I did really quick last night. Let's see if I can find any of them. Yeah, they're at the bottom of these walls here. I haven't even... These walls are going to take a while to paint, but... Um, I did some little, like, altar pieces. Altars or tables, little stone tables. Um, I thought these looked kind of neat. I just made them with some leftover floor pieces that I had from the crack tile mold. And um, it's actually kind of cool because I've been casting the uh, accessories mold, and this little one is actually the exact size for a chest. So, like, if, if you have multiple chests in a room and you want one to kind of stick out, you can put one up here, or, you know, just kind of elevate it above. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you know, looks pretty neat. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's the other thing I want to talk about is I'm casting this uh, cavern accessories mold, which looks like that. I showed that in the previous video. Um, I cast it about six times today, and man, are those pieces incredible. Um, I, mean, I don't know if my camera's going to be able to pick this up, but the, the level of detail on these little pieces is just incredible. This um, this piece especially just amazed me. It's It's got grain on all the wood planks, and it's fully textured on the inside, and it actually has a little lid that you can put on it, which I just think is just fantastic. Um, here's like a, a gold pile. Yeah, my phone's not going to be able to pick up all the details on these things, but it's just, oh man, I couldn't be happier with this thing. I'm, I'm geeking out so hard about it. I can't wait to get painting these little things and populate my dungeons with them. Here's a little like crystal ball. Very cool. Um, Let's see. Uh, the one thing about this mold, though, oh, here's a. This is kind of cool. It's like an iron door. Uh, each each mold makes one half of this iron door, so you make two, and you can you glue them together, and you can get an iron door. And there's also a stone door. But one thing about the cavern accessories mold that I've been noticing is that um, you really have to let it dry. Uh, you have to wait a lot longer with the accessories mold than you do with like the crack floor mold or the uh, basic block mold because. Um, these pieces are so are so fine and finicky that if you pull them early, they're going to break. Um, and I actually had a casualty um, here. I uh, had a broken iron door, which I was very upset about. But I saved the pieces because I should be able to glue them together and salvage it. But um, the iron door comes out of uh, that little thing right there. So 
Yeah, if it's brittle at all, it's going to snap on you coming out. Um, and the other piece that broke was this uh, the <clears throat> crate lid. So with the cavern accessories mold, yeah, you've got to give it some time. Uh, probably about five minutes longer than you would normally. So you just got to, you know, you get impatient with these molds, wanting to pop them and get them going again. But with a cavern accessories mold, it really, really pays to, to take the time and the care um, my first mold that I did on these, um, I popped them really early, and I didn't jet dry beforehand, and uh, I didn't I didn't pour them as steadily as I should have, and I didn't I didn't pound the table to try to get up the air bubbles, and I mean they turned out all right, but on the second mold I really took my time with it. I soaked the mold in jet dry uh, water mixture. I made sure to pound the table to you know force air bubbles to the top. Uh, I really I mixed the mixture really well, poured it really evenly. Um, and the it really, really paid off. I mean, the pieces just looked a thousand times better. You can see on this one, there's a lot of air bubbles on it. So that was the, from the first cast. This one here has like no air bubbles on it and looks a lot better. A lot of the, more of the details kind of shine through. So with the floor tiles, you can kind of get away with doing them half-assed sometimes and, you know, rushing through them and stuff because, uh, you know, they don't have as much detail on them. But with these really fine pieces, um, you got to make sure that, you just are really patient with them and luckily you don't need as many of these things as you do floor tiles so it's all good it all ends up evening out in the end so um but really excited about the cavern accessories mold it's definitely my favorite one so far um just all the cool things it comes with one thing that uh kind of irks me a little bit about the cavern accessories mold not a single skull no skull piles no little skull and um there are molds that have skulls on them so i, I kind of wonder why the cavern accessories mold doesn't have uh, a skull on it, but that's nitpicky. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, so happy gaming all, and take care.